New research out of St. Paul suggests that the Omicron peak may have already may already be behind the Twin Cities, and that's based on your bathroom. WCCO's Kate Raditz shares what this breakthrough wastewater research could mean. There's a lot of information here. Scientist Stephen Balog studies wastewater from the Metro Treatment Plant in St. Paul that collects from nearly 2 million people from 66 cities. The plant measures the amount of virus that we shed when we go to the bathroom. And that viral amount has been declining. It's dropping very rapidly um, from what were the highest levels we had seen at any point throughout the pandemic. Um, and by, by far. Eight tiny sample tubes are collected from the millions of gallons of water that come into the plant each day and sent to genome researchers at the U of M. The amount of virus in the wastewater has been going down since January 9th. The number of cases have typically lagged around six to eight days. It's promising. It's a good sign for the total amount of virus that's circulating. Mayo Clinic's modeling team projects Minnesota's Omicron cases will peak around next week. The wastewater data suggests the metro may have already hit the peak. We might find here might be different than what they find in Duluth or in San Francisco. Scientists agree there will be a rapid decline in cases similar to what's happening in New York. After that, it's too early to say. Experts hope the virus will become endemic. It looks like at least a local peak in terms of you know, it's gone up, it's starting to come down, but that doesn't mean it's not going to turn around and go back up. Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. The data from the wastewater project is shared with the Minnesota Department of Health. If you'd like to see the information that is updated weekly, just head to WCCO.com.